Hello everyone! With this whole pandemic situation, we're all finding ourselves with a little more downtime and many of us are also using this time to do some organizing. You may have seen these really cool vintage jewelry trees in antique stores and today I'm going to show you how to make your own. I'm sure a lot of us have old junk jewelry we don't wear anymore and single earrings without pairs lying around, but if you don't have enough, you can always thrift them or get them from friends and family. You can use any heavy, sturdy board as a base. I'm using a canvas panel, but if you plan to frame this, you can make it on the board that goes in the back of the frame also. The first thing you want to do is wrap a piece of fabric tightly around your board and hot glue the edges to the back, kind of like you're wrapping a present. I'm using weld bond to adhere the jewelry pieces. You need a strong bond that's going to work for both fabric and metal. You also need some cutters and pliers to remove anything from the back of your pieces that will stop it from laying flat. When you start gathering your pieces, first look for something that could work for a trunk. I'm using this piece from an old watch band. I'm also cutting some lengths of chain that I'm, I've scavenged from old necklaces to break up the design and help keep the shape. Look for a topper as well and lay that out. Once you have your main elements all centered, it's a lot easier to fill everything in. Next, just lay out your other pieces that you're going to use to fill the space. Before gluing, I'm checking that everything is still centered. As you glue, remember that the weld bond dries clear, so don't panic if you see a little bit of white sticking out. You can use beads to fill in the smaller spaces and streamline the angled sides. Tweezers definitely come in handy. Thank you for watching! Please be sure to check out my other mixed media Christmas demo where I show you how to make some really cool ornaments with old paint brushes and junk jewelry. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe and I really hope I inspired you to get going on making some of your own original Christmas decor.